Hey fellow traders, welcome to this new trading video, okay? You can hear I'm very excited because I want to reveal to you a new way on how to find the best currency pairs to trade, right? A new way of how to use, uh, you know, the trading sessions to find the best currency pair that has the potential to move, uh, you know, big, okay? I've been testing this concept now for about uh, two months, right? I, I didn't want to just uh, release it until you know i really tested it and i uh, made sure that it worked for me so today i'm going to share it with you okay that's something that i observed happen in the market over and over again so today's video i will do just that okay now if you are new to our channel make sure you hit the subscribe button because content like this is really you know content that you cannot find anywhere else right it's really based on experience right uh you can take what you learn from this video go and observe the market and uh you should you know come up with the same conclusion okay you just need to be a bit more observant uh, with uh, what i say right i point it in the right direction you observe it and uh, chances are you'll find the same thing uh, you come to the same conclusion okay so what is this new method all about okay this new method is about using the trading sessions okay so uh let me just uh let me just open the uh trading sessions Okay, so if you're new to trading and you may not know that there are three main trading sessions, okay, you have the uh, Asia session, okay, Asia session consists of, you know, countries like uh, uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, right, but uh, there is also uh, the Australians as well as the New Zealand, right, so you have Australia, New Zealand and uh, Asia, uh, that constitutes the uh, Asia kind of uh, you know group together with the asia trading session over here you can say sydney tokyo i call this uh, the asia session okay in fact most people call it the asia session okay then you have the london which is actually europe okay you have the europe trading session and then lastly you have the new york trading session okay so there are three main uh, trading sessions and this is something that you must know because we're going to use this Okay, so how do you find the best currency pairs uh, using these three trading sessions? Okay, so this is how you do it. Okay, you want to choose a currency pair uh, based on uh, what time you're trading. So for example, you are in the Asia session right now. Okay, so you want to look at what uh, stock market is open, what stock exchanges are open right now. So for example, let's say, let's assume that uh, we're in the Asia trading session right now. Okay, that means that the uh, bank, uh, the Japan is open, right? New Zealand is open, the Australia stock exchange is open, right? So with that understanding, you would expect the currency to move, right? Because when the stock market is open, right, the economy is running, right? So when the economy is running, you expect the currency to move, okay? That's just a simple understanding, okay? That's how uh, we choose uh, one, which currency to focus on. Right, but that's not all. There's another filter that you need to input into it. That is, uh, you never ever trade in a adjacent, in adjacent uh trading session. Okay, that seems a mouthful. So let me just try to give you an example so that you know I can explain it to you, and make it crystal clear for you. Okay, let's say you are in the Asia session right now. Okay, do not trade a currency in the euro. Do not pair the one of these currencies means. For example, Japan, you do not pair a Japan uh, JPY with Euro, means do not trade uh, Euro Yen, right? Do not trade uh, Euro Kiwi, do not trade Euro Aussie, okay? Why? Why do you not do that, okay? Because like I said, uh, if you're in the Asia session right now, okay, that means that the Asia session uh, economy is running, okay? If you trade a pair, for example, like Euro, Euro Yen, Euro JPY, Right. What happens is that uh, this Euro stock market haven't opened yet. Right, The economy is not really moving. Right, People are sleeping. Europeans are sleeping. So they have not yet uh, entered the market. They have not yet traded. They have not voted on uh, the direction of the market. So if you enter, for example, a, a, a pair, you know, Euro Aussie during the Asia session, okay, there is a high chance that, you know, you might see profits at the start because, you know, Aussie is uh, moving, right? But when it comes to Europe, right, when it comes to the uh, Europe trading session, the Europeans feel another way. For example, let's say you are long uh, Europe Aussie, uh, you're long Europe Aussie, okay, maybe let, let me just write this down. So say uh, during Asia session, 
fashion, you long, you roll Aussie, okay? Which uh, you shouldn't do, okay? You shouldn't do, okay? Because uh, this is in conflict uh, with the next trading session, okay? So let me just explain this first before I go through one more round on how to use this, okay? Because it's not an easy concept to explain, right? It's not something that uh, you can find online. It's something that I discovered, something that I've tested. So I want to uh, make sure that uh, you get it from me, right? I I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of questions about this, but I'll just do my best, okay? So during Asia session, you long Euro Aussie, okay? This is a bad move, bad move, okay? Why is this a bad move? Because during Asia session, the Aussie economy is running, right? The stock market open. Okay, so perhaps you got it right, right? Uh, you, you accurately predict that a uh, Euro uh, Aussie is going to go up, right? Because Aussie is weak. So in this case, you assume that, uh, you know, Aussie is weak. So you see that, you know, your position is making some money, right? Then after the, after the uh, Asia session comes the Euro session and the Europeans come in and stock market is open. And for some reason, the European stock market is dropping or you know some 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 something happens to the stock market right it doesn't matter which direction it goes bottom line is that it affects the currency market right because if the stock market is moving right that means volume is being generated people are actually investing or they're pulling back it affects the currency okay you do not need to know the economics the fundamentals you just need to understand that the stock market does affect the currency uh, a lot okay so in this case let's say the euro session comes in and the the european starts to sell euro right what happens your euro aussie long from a small profit it turns into negative and eventually it stops you out right so that's a very bad move right because you are trading uh you are choosing a currency pair you enter and then you did not take into account this you did not take into account this uh this portion here that uh the euros the Europe stock market is going to open, it's going to affect the currency, right? So you do not want to do this, okay? So two rules, right? If you want to apply this, uh, there's just two rules that uh, you need to understand. Okay, I'll explain uh, this later, right? There's two rules. Number one, okay, uh, look at the time frame that, uh, look at what time you are trading, what time zone are you in, you can trade that currency, okay? When you are choosing what currency to pair, it against so for example you're in asia session you can trade uh, aussie you can trade kiwi you can trade uh, yen you can trade uh, yeah that's about it you can trade that you can trade uh, sgd so you can trade uh, hkd hong kong dollars right these are the stock market that is open so you can trade this currency but at the same time you want to filter out the next adjacent trading se session currency so the next adjacent is euro so you want to avoid um trading for example euro aussie you want to avoid trading euro kiwi you want to avoid trading euro yen okay so hopefully you understand this okay you can however still trade uh, this with this it means you pair a uh, asian new zealand aussie currency with us because there is sufficient time meaning that let's say in the morning you you enter aussie dollar right you enter in the morning okay the europe session doesn't affect uh, the us uh, stock uh, us currency that much because it's euro right so you have some time between uh you know the asia, asia session the australia session trading session to the us right so it's okay because by the time hopefully price has already moved right and you can shift your stop loss to break even during the us session okay so the two rules is very simple number one whatever trading session whatever time you are at right now you can trade that currency if the stock market is open and number two Right, do not trade the adjacent trading session, which is uh, if you are trading in Europe, do not trade the US, do not combine a Europe currency, European currency with a US slash Canada, okay? Because uh, US and Canada opens at uh, the same time, okay? Europe, this one includes uh, Euro, Franc, and Pound, okay? So I've list uh, some currencies over here, okay? I've list listed over here. Uh, Hopefully you understand, hopefully you can see why I say these are the currencies that you can trade, okay? Okay, so for example, in Asia, I said, if the Asia stock market is open, uh, you can choose that currency. So you can trade Aussie, you can trade Yen, you can trade 
Kiwi. You can trade. Uh, yeah, that's all you can trade. Okay, you can trade all this. But you cannot trade Euro. You cannot pair that currency with the Euro, Franc or Pound. So you see over here, you do not see any, uh, you do not see any Euro, Franc or Pound, right? Because that's the adjacent trading session. You do not want to uh, trade trade one hour before Euro opens, hoping that, you know, uh, the Euro is going to agree with the Asia session, right? You, you do not want to put yourself in that uh, potential whipsaw scenario whereby Asia says that Euro Aussie is up and then uh, Euro says that no, 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 Euro is going down, right? That's how you prevent losses. Okay, I've tested this concept. It's a very powerful concept, right? Uh, today is the 9th of June, okay? Yesterday, our team sent out Euro Yen during the Euro trading session, right? So you can see that... Uh, over here, I didn't really, really write a uh, euro. Let me just write it here. Yes, okay. So that was how we had a good winner just yesterday, right? So this is a very powerful concept. It's something that I've tested for months, okay? I didn't just want to release it to you until, uh, you know, I, I made sure that this works, okay? So I want you to test this. I want you to understand the concept, right? And to put this in practice, if it helps you to find the best currency pair, right, it's going to change your trading, right, it's going to increase your hit rate, it's going to give you movers, right, you know, those kind of trades which don't move, it's annoying, right, I hate that, right, so this will help you to uh, prevent uh, that, okay, so let's talk about this Euro, US, and then I'll end off the video, okay, so Euro is the same thing, right, so Euro, you are allowed to trade Euro, Franc, and Pound, okay, but you cannot trade US or, Can or, or Can Canadian dollars, because uh, it's the adjacent trading session, right? After Europe comes the US, right? So these are some of the currency pairs that you can focus on, right? Because uh, Aussie uh, has already, uh, in the morning, is, op is moving already. Kiwi is moving. Aussie, Kiwi, same thing. Pound, pound, yen, right? This will be good. Pound crosses and Euro crosses uh, is what you want to focus on during the Euro session, okay? Now let's talk about uh, US session. US session is the best session to trade. Okay, in fact, uh, when I analyze my own trading results, uh, I find that my hit rate is the highest during US session and it's not difficult to see why. Okay, because uh, you have the crossover between US and Europe. That means that uh, all the institutional players are there, right? They have uh, put their money down, right? So you get more concrete movements without uh, much fake outs. Okay, so when you're in US session, of course, you can trade pound dollar because the dollar uh, USD uh, the US stock exchange is open. Same thing for Aussie dollar, you have USD open. Dollar cat, of course, because both um, US and Canada is open. Pound yen, because uh, the Euro is open. Right, Frank is the same, right? I won't go through all this. But uh, this is how the concept works, okay? I, I don't believe I covered every single currency here. I might have missed out a few. But I think uh, you understand the... Uh, concept okay i hope you understand the concept uh, if you need more explanation right if i haven't been too clear i'm sorry okay just uh leave a comment down below i'll try my best to re-explain this right maybe even do a pdf because uh it's not an easy concept to explain okay it's not something easy it's not something that you can find on you know, like babypips.com it's not something you can get through you know some website Okay, but uh, this is a very powerful concept that I've tested. Okay, I don't want you to take my word for it. Right? Uh, you are a trader, right? You are responsible for your own money, right? I'm here to just give you the direction and tell you that, hey, listen, okay, I, I've tested this hypothesis. I think that uh, there is some uh, value in this hypothesis. I think there's something here. Okay, uh, go check it out. Okay, so ultimately, I want you to uh, just observe it on your own. See whether you agree with me, okay? If you don't agree with me, let me know, right? Tell me why you don't agree with me so that, you know, I can uh, consider your point of view, right? And I can see whether it is, is it, did I really make some mistake? Did I really, like, misread the uh, currency pairs, right? Misread what uh, I see in my trading journal or, you know, it's, you know, or that's something you see as well, right? Because uh, ultimately, the more people who can validate this, then, uh, then I think it's, it's more powerful, right? Because if I tell it to you and you, you use it and it works for you as well, uh, then of course, it means we found a very good concept, okay? So last but not least, if you are new to this channel, okay, we create a lot of videos like this uh, to help you in your trading journey, okay? We have a free day trading guide in the description below, so make sure you check that out. It's free, just 
shoot your email there and I will send you the free day trading guide, right? Uh, just a disclaimer, okay, as I always say, this is not a trading strategy on its own, okay? So please get that straight. It's not a trading strategy, okay? This is just teaching you which currency has the potential to move, which currency should you choose to trade, okay? It's not telling you to go to Europe's and Europe session and start buying Aussie, close your eyes and buy without any plan, okay? You need a trading plan, okay? That in our three-day trading guide, we give you a trading plan that works, okay? So you put that together, you use this, uh, whatever we teach here, to fine-tune your trading process, to find uh, the movers, to find better trade opportunities, okay? You do not use this just to blindly enter and trade the market, okay? So if any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to address it. So thanks for your time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,